hello <laughs> so for today i'm just i'm gonna go ahead and start priming my face this is with the tatcha liquid silk canvas i just kind of wanted to do like a simple maybe like kind of cat eye-ish thing but just with shadow not really with liner too much i have a huge pimple on my face thank you glad we got that out of the way <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to do that how how are you guys doing on this day i um today i went to this oh my gosh my face gets so red from me rubbing it but um i went to a thrift store today and it was a very fascinating thrift store i'm gonna just go ahead and prime my eyes with the nars soft matte complete concealer in the color chantilly and um the thrift store that we went to today was interesting because everything that they have there is from like luggage like lost luggage though so it's like everything people i guess like unclaimed baggage is what it's called so it's the unclaimed baggage of people just traveling and they have all this random stuff everything from like electronics to um clothing sunglasses books i got some horribly cheesy romance novels that I am very excited to get to read, of course, but um, they just have a bunch of like cool stuff and it's, I think one of the coolest things we saw was um, like this tribal, like literally like armor plates. I, I don't know if it was African or where it was from, but um, the funny thing was though, is it was like, learn more about it. <laughs> so I like went over to read and I was like, okay, let me learn more about it. And then unsurprisingly, it says on the little like description box, it's like, origins unknown. And I was like, well, that makes sense because you were from an airport and you don't know your origins. <laughs> and for today, I just am going to play, this is the Rust Palette by Milk Cosmetics. I like it. It's got an awesome mirror. So this is kind of simple color schematics i don't want to do anything too fancy today just keeping it simple and i'm gonna go in with the color rest this one right here that's the color we're gonna go in with and i'm just going to Stamp a winged liner like a so. And then just drag it out and then I want to cut it in. And I think that's just going to be the shape. And now I'm just going to go back in with that dark brown color. And I'm just going to kind of enrich and go over the line we created. And I'm filling this in a little bit more. And then just tapering it out as I draw the brush out. There we go. That's more of the shape I wanted. Much nicer. I'm going to go in with Antique, this color right here. And I'm gonna leave the outside line clean, but I'm going to use this to kind of buff in that inner line and to soften it and also kind of clean it up a little bit. Nothing too dramatic or crazy, just that. And then I'm going to use it to clean up this line right here. I'm just kind of keep tugging that in. And then I want to add just like a tiniest bit of darkness to like the wing part. So I'm going to get just like a flat brush like this. This is just a Morphe M410. 
And I'm gonna go in with Rot 2. Technically, it's a really, really, really pretty dark brown. Um, it looks black on camera. Um, but I'm just gonna take it into my brush like that. And I'm just gonna stamp it along my lash line and a little bit up just to give like the hint of a flick. And I'm just kind of like wiggling it in there. And you'll notice I didn't take the shadow past this part of my eye because I'm really going for like the cat eye look. And if I took it further in for my eye shape, it would just kind of change everything. Okay, and, and now we have got the eyeshadow done. We're gonna do our face really quickly and then, well, not really quickly. We're gonna do our face. <laughs> and then, um, We'll finish the eyes at the end. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Labs foundation today. I like this, it's just a beautiful foundation. Though I am gonna have to use concealer for that because I love Pat McGrath, but she's not gonna cover that pimple for me. Not with this foundation anyways. And for the giant pimple on my face, I'm going to go and cover it with the same concealer that I used on my eyes. I just love this concealer so much. And then for my under eye concealer, I am going to use, this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fix. I've actually been really liking this formula. And I'm just going to take this concealer. I'm not doing like a crazy contour or anything like that. I am just going to gently tap that in under my eyes just to add a little brightness and just kind of clean up everything. It's pretty similar to my skin tone, so it'll brighten a little bit, but not anything crazy dramatic. And then for blush today and um, for bronzer, I'm going to be using two cream products, both by Fenty. Shocker. <laughs> so the first one is going to be the Fenty Cheeks Out in Butter Biscuit. I like to keep it pretty high because I'm, I'm kind of using it as my contour too. So I'll keep it pretty high up. Since I'm doing really like light natural foundation, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this, but I don't need to like bring an insane amount of life back into my face if that makes sense. A little bit under the chin and a little bit up here. And then the cream blush I'm gonna use, this is the color Petal Poppin. It's just a really, really pretty neutral. I have made mine dirty, but it's just a really pretty, I just take my finger in it like that. You can use a brush. I think I just put way too much product on my finger. So this is going to be fun, <laughs> but I feel like when I use my brush that that's what gets it so messy so I've stopped using my brush so much but it's just such a pretty nice natural like flush back into the face it's just I love these cream blushes okay and now we're gonna go in for highlighter with the Mega Jelly Highlighter. I've never tried this, so I'm excited. It looks like this. Let's see, on the back of my hand. <gasps> That's pretty. I think a little bit's gonna go a long way with that. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit there. And a little bit here. My computer's freaking out, sorry. But that is really, really pretty. Do you see that? Ooh. I 
and I'm just gonna leave my brows like this. I'm not doing anything to my brows today. They're just gonna be natural. And for mascara, I'm gonna use the Monsieur Big by Lancome. To fill in that lash line a little bit more, I'm just gonna tight line really quickly with the black Kajal Penciler from Shiseido. And I'm not even gonna do the whole thing, I'm just gonna do like tight line the outer half of the eye. To give the inner corner of our eyes a fun little pop, I'm just going to take the highlighter like this and put a little bit of that jelly highlighter on a brush. And I'm just gonna pop that into the inner corner. I'm gonna keep it simple and just kind of do like a blotted lip look. I'm gonna go in with this Pat McGrath lip in Guinevere. It's like a dark red matte and I'm just gonna place it on the inner part of my lips and then blot it out with my finger. And that is the completed look. <laughs> if you want, you can pop a gloss over top of this lip. I think that would be really pretty. Um, I like a good matte moment though, but like with your hair up, popping a gloss over this could also be like a really fun, fierce moment. But I'm going to keep this look matte. Just a fun, simple eye makeup, but I hope that you like it. And hope you're having a good day and evening. I hope you're having a good day, night, evening, wherever you are, and that I see you in the next video. Goodbye!